Alright, says you feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Oh, great. Well, we're in the big empty. Uh, what the f what the hell? Where am I? Open the door to the sink. <laughs> There's the big nipple, or the big breast, I guess you want to call it. This must be the entrance to this, uh, ooh. Sloan Thayeth Barilla. I don't have to up any of that crap. Big MT. Big MT. Big empty. Oh, uh, what a funny joke. Oh, ho, ho. I'm so amused. Anyway. I'll take those rounds. Alright, I guess we're going to the sink. Let's see where this leads us. Still got my gun. Put that away for now. Might not need it. Uh, let's see. Ammo box. Fuck yes. Give me that. Ooh, everything looks high tech. Ooh. Mentats. Purified water. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff in here already. Huh. Take the biolog oh, talk to the biological research station. Personality files damaged or missing. Insert backup holotape to restore the files. I need to find a holotape to put in there. Ooh, ten purified waters, huh? Eh. How what weight do I have right now anyway? 235 or 280. I'll I'll uh hold off picking up waters. Talk to the sink central intelligence unit. Personality files damaged or missing. Everything's damaged or missing, huh? Think tag and big empty. I don't have the key to the big empty. Talk to sick auto dock. That's damaged too. Shit. Everything's fucked up. Talk to the toaster. Even the toaster's fucked up. Oh shit, you hear the music? Listen. Why don't you do right? Like some of the men do. That's the song that uh, Jessica Rabbit was singing in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's pretty sweet. Even the fucking disabled jukebox can't talk. Come on. We gotta find personality tapes for all these things. Muggy. Oh, Muggy's fucked up. Muggy has a mug on its face. Took the bottle cap. I don't care about the scientist's glove. Like some little man new. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh, no key for the door. Ah, great. Alright, so I guess we need to go into uh, the only door that opens the think tank. Let's see what happens here. It's still playing that song. It's sweet. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you, and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Yeah, that's a good sign. Big MT still requires a key. This is the think tank. Okay. What the fuck? What am I looking at here? This is pretty crazy, man. I thought I heard the pacification fields kick in. All right. Nobody move. I'll handle 
Klein. It's Dr. Klein. Reward, you little Schroeder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? <laughs> was it? Was it you, eight? Oh, this is a you promising. Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now, now, great. Now I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Uh, how all you, how all you are speaking through that one voice box. I was at the theater, then I was here. What is this place? Are you the ones who performed the surgery on me? Not to cut your speech off, there's something coming in on the big monitor. I don't give a shit what you have to say. Tell me why you hauled me here now. Wow, there's like... Those are all different. Did... Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite. Here, in the dome. <laughs> oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Tala, get the spray before it excretes all over everything. What? <laughs> lobotomite, what are you talking about? We go up here all cut apart and I want some answers. Not to get your speech off, there's something. Alright. What are you talking about? Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin envelope once containing it. The skin envelope? If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. Just look at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. What the fuck? I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its... its limbs all over everything. And... are those... penises I see wriggling on its feet? What? Disgusting. Toes, you asshole. I mean, those are toes, Dr. Klein. I guess I'm naked. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. <laughs> I don't recall a human penis ever being that large. Whoa! It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting oxygen. Noses? By the great static. These lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. Okay, so we got Science 55. Hold up one finger, point at self. Point at them, hold up five fingers. Uh, or Speech 55, wave hands and nod. <laughs> wow. Let's do Science 55. That sounds funny. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. If it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. <laughs> Wait. I... I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at They think all. they're so much smarter than me, but they're just it's idiots. Been following our conversation. The lobotomite understands us. <laughs> I agree with Boros's histrionic findings. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. My brain's been extracted? Nonsense. Lobotomites can't comprehend us. When was my brain extracted? Fuck. Ace, have you been in the men's hats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all how wrong you all are. As usual, Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? Wow, this is stupid. But they're they're way dumber than I am. That's the fucking stupid thing about it. They're supposed to be hyper intelligent beings with their their brains in these robots, and they're all fucking morons. 